Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best gaming laptops under $1000 in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. Prices change all the time, so to see the most up-to-date prices make sure you check out the links in the description. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Lenovo Legion Y520. The Lenovo Legion Y520 is one of the most purchased gaming laptops on the market, and users are constantly purchasing it because of two reasons. The first is its price tag, which is very affordable, while the second is its specs that will let you have a lag-free gameplay. From a design perspective, the Y520 sports a plastic yet sturdy matte black construction with a carbon pattern lid, so when you see it as a whole, this laptop really does have an aggressive gaming appearance. In terms of connectivity, this unit integrates one HDMI port, an SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 3.1 Type-C port, a gigabit Ethernet port, and dual 2W speakers, which are relatively loud, but I'd recommend you use your headphones or external speakers. Moreover, when you open the lid, you'll instantly recognize the red backlit keyboard with a key travel distance of 1.7mm, which is quite good since all of your gestures will be registered properly and the chances you'll ever miss a key are set to minimum. Slightly below the keyboard, there's the touchpad with a red border, which is suitable to the laptop's overall appearance, and even though the touchpad is responsive, I'd recommend you use an external mouse. But now let's talk about the performance. The Y520 is armed with an i5-7300HQ processor, 8GB of RAM, 256GB SSD and a GTX 1050Ti graphics card, which guarantees stable FPS rate in Fortnite as well as in many other games. I'd also like to mention that this model has a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS screen that's covered with an anti-glare layer with the intention to make your gaming experience as realistic as possible without getting distracted by the glares that may occur if you're exposed to the sun. Another great thing about this laptop is the fan system, which according to users is highly effective so you can play for hours without feeling that the laptop is getting warm. To conclude, if you're looking for a laptop that combines powerful specs with a battery that can handle around 4 hours of intense gaming, then the Lenovo Y520 would be the one for you. At number 4, it's the Dell i7577. Talking about Dell products, we know straight away that we're talking about quality and premium performing laptops. Considering this, we decided that the Dell i7-577 deserves a place in our list. With 15-inch matte screen, a sturdily built metallic body, a backlit keyboard and modern hardware specs, the Dell Inspiron Gaming 7577 counts as a mid-range multimedia and gaming laptop, which makes it a great addition to your personal work. The Dell 7577 has the 7th or 8th generation CPUs available, with the three main options to choose from being the Core i7-875H, Core i5-7300HQ or the Core i5-8300H, which are all excellent for handling almost anything you throw at them. Moving on, it uses the GTX 1060 6GB graphics card, which is a Max-Q version, meaning it's not as powerful as the desktop version, but it's still really good. It'll easily handle most AAA titles on ultra-high settings at 60fps or more to give you the ultimate experience. Considering this, the battery, like in all gaming laptops, doesn't have that much of a capacity. It has a 56WH battery which is smaller than the previous Dell 7567 and based on our tests it'll last for about 4.5 hours when you do work-related tasks. As you can see it's not super long but it's mostly due to space optimization to get the best performance out of the system. Furthermore, you'd be surprised when it comes to the keyboard since it's really made specifically to satisfy the most demanding users with space in between the click force and the comfortable and good feel you get when you start typing. For your information, the trackpad is made of plastic and uses Windows Precision drivers which makes it a great addition for good gestures and tracking. Moreover, on the left-hand side, you'll see the Noble Security Slot, Power Slot, Ethernet Port, a USB 3.1 Type-A and SD card slot, while on the right, you'll find one HDMI port, one USB Type-C port with Thunderbolt 3 support, two USB 3.1 Type-A ports and a headphone jack. To conclude, you should definitely consider this laptop 
since it won't disappoint you with its performance. At number 3, it's the MSI GL62M7RD. The MSI GL62M would be a really good option for you if you're looking for a powerful mid-range 15.6-inch laptop that'll make your Fortnite gaming sessions fluid and way more entertaining. So let's hear why. From a design perspective, this laptop features an all-black plastic construction with red accents that are present along the vents and the MSI logo that's positioned at the back of the lid. On the right flank, there's an SD card slot, a power jack, and a USB 2.0 port, while on the left, you can find an HDMI port with 4K support, an RJ45 port, one USB 3.0 Type-C, a mini display port, and two USB 3.0 ports, so I think you can't ask for more considering its price tag. Moving on, this unit employs a highly responsive red backlit keyboard made by SteelSeries, and according to the users, the keyboard delivers a superb tactile feedback, so you can respond adequately anytime you're engaged in a fight. In addition, the trackpad is responsive as well, however I'd recommend you use an external mouse since gaming on a trackpad is quite difficult. Let's talk about the features. This model integrates an i5-7300HQ processor, 8GB of RAM, 256GB SSD, NVIDIA 1050 GTX with 2GB of onboard memory which is more than enough to play Fortnite and other modern PC games smoothly. I'd also like to inform you that the GL62M uses the Cooler Boost 4 technology, which will play a huge role in your gaming experience because it'll prevent throttle on one hand, and on the other, it'll ensure that the heat will always be at an optimal level with the intention to make your gaming experience as good as possible. Finally, the 15.6-inch IPS screen has a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, so you can see sharp visuals with consistent color accuracy from virtually any angle. Overall, I strongly recommend you consider the MSI GL62M if you're looking for a laptop that'll maintain high FPS rate without spending thousands of dollars. At number 2, it's the Acer Nitro 5. The Acer Nitro 5 is currently perhaps the best budget-level laptop you can find in the market, and the reason is pretty simple. It looks and performs just like a high-end laptop. Speaking of design, the Nitro 5 has a black and red appearance that looks pleasing from any perspective, starting with the lid, the deck, and all the way to the screen. In addition, the lid has a matte black brush surface that looks overwhelming, while once the lid is opened, you can notice the spacious touchpad with a red border and the red backlit keyboard. Both of them look beautiful and perform even better, so Acer deserves our applause here since they managed to craft a wonderful piece of tech. The connection ports are robust and they're composed of two USB 2.0 ports, a headphone jack, single USB 3.0 port, an HDMI port, a USB Type-C 3.1 port, an Ethernet port, and an SD card reader, which is awesome if you ask me. But now let's talk about performance. The Nitro 5 comes with 8GB of RAM, 256GB SSD, a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card with a 4GB of dedicated RAM, and an i5-7300HQ processor that will offer you quick and effective processing, while the graphics card on the other side is capable enough to let you achieve stable frame rates on most of the games from medium to high settings. Moving on, the 15.6-inch display is IPS, which by default means that the colors will remain accurate when viewed from wide angles, and in practice has proven true, since numerous users have reported that the visuals look indeed immersive. Finally, the battery has an average life of up to 8.5 hours, however this may vary in practice, especially if you're gaming. To conclude, I strongly recommend you consider the Acer Nitro 5, and if you ever decide to purchase it, you'll feel what makes this laptop different from others in the market. And at number 1, it's the Asus FX503. Asus has been on the market for many years now, and due to its quality products and its success with most of them, it's still a dominant competitor and maybe on top of the chain. The FX503 VM has an aggressive styling that reflects the higher-end GL503 line. However, the plastic build is the first cut made to bring the budget down. To that end, the case has a faux brush metal finish that still looks striking and works well to hide the plastic build from a distance. The connectivity ports include an Ethernet port, two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a combo audio in, audio out port. While on the right side, there's a single USB 3.0 Type-A port and the SD card reader. One of the FX503 VM's stronger points is its keyboard. 
Once again, the device is reminiscent of the GL503 line. Travel is good at 1.8mm and the key presses are responsive. In addition, the keycaps are quiet and create virtually no clatter, save for the spacebar which emits a small squeak from time to time. Considering the touchpad, it's typical notebook fare. The surface is smooth with an easy glide and the pad itself is very responsive, which in my opinion is something great that the manufacturer has done here. Let's talk about performance. Powered by an i7-7700HQ and a GTX 1050, the Asus FX503 is the sweet spot for any entry-level gamer. Even though you won't be able to play all the latest games at the highest settings, eSports titles like Dota 2 and CSGO will run without any issues, and with a little compromise on graphics quality, you can easily play heavier games too. Finally, the battery life. As we've come to expect from gaming laptops, it's more or less average. We're able to get about 4 hours of normal usage, including web browsing and multimedia, on a single charge. However, for gaming, that's not a major concern, as you'll mostly be using it with the charger plugged in. Overall, if you're looking for an all-rounder which performs great, and in my opinion has better value for the price, we highly recommend you consider this product since you won't be disappointed with your decision. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.